This here was a Honda car dealer. You can still see the A on the bottom there, on blue. The whole block was the uh, Honda dealer and it's now closed and fenced off to keep it clear. This was the main entrance for the Honda dealership. It was the whole city block. There is no bike lanes here. The bus lane will do the job. We uh, lost everything and now we're being sued like criminals for opening up a small business in San Francisco. It's, um, it's horrible. As soon as they closed down the streets on Van Ness, our, our business dropped. The biggest complaint people said is they can't park here. $346 million in six years of nightmare business killing traffic. This is what we get, a street painted red <laughs> and these bus stops. They call it riding islands, but they're just bus stops. That's just a fancy name. These bus lanes took out banks, liquor stores, deli shops, hotels, gas stations, bakeries, restaurants, car dealers, furniture stores, retail pharmacies. And now that the project's done, public transport is down 70% because there's nowhere to go to. <laughs> Empty bus. Today we're on Van Ness Avenue, one of the main city streets. It's also the 101, and it's where City Hall is. Van Ness Avenue is no exception to the stores closing in San Francisco. And today we're walking from Market Street to Bay Street, which is the main part where all the businesses used to be. Van Ness is a mess. They recently added these bus lanes, which is pretty much just streets painted red. 346 million for that. A sign that says buses only on every block should be good enough. And this here is some type of hostile architecture. A sitting bench will be more useful than this. Or a sign that says buses only and a lot cheaper. Here we have a shop that's for lease. Commercial property for lease. It's a large shop. It's these two spaces. This one here and the next one. This is where Van S starts right here on market. Here we have a coffee shop that it's open but it's in rough shape on the outside. This is the traffic here on Van Ness, a rush hour. And I don't see any buses. All the lights are green and cars are not even moving. This building is 100 and Van S and it's proof that commercial buildings can be converted into residential. One of the landmarks here in Van S Avenue is City Hall. This here used to be a restaurant. This was California Pizza. And on the corner, that used to be a bank. That used to be US Bank. See this restaurant is all boarded up. That's where the US bank sign used to be. Another bank that went down. And they still kept the lights on. And right here, this used to be a Chevy Mexican restaurant. That's where the Chevy's sign used to be up there. They have all these planters here to avoid camping on the street. It's a lot of them. Here's another business that's all boarded up. This was a uh, design and printing store. See everything is boarded up here. And this right here was also boarded up. This used to be a car dealer. BMW and Mini. They have all these planters here. Even the windows up there are covered. All covered up. And that's pretty high. This was the main entrance for the car dealer. Everything's boarded up. There's another sign up there from the car dealer, Mini. This was another entrance to the car dealer. Still closed. That's the Burger King drive-through. That's another business all boarded up 
And the next one too, that looks like it used to be a bar. Yeah, this was a bar. And on this corner right here, this used to be a Walgreens retail pharmacy. This was the main entrance and these were all the windows for the Walgreens. We've got all these planters here. It's all blackboards now. Here's another copy and, and printing business that's also boarded up. That's the uh, for lease sign for the Walgreens store. Man, they smashed the glass at this store. That's a closed door too. Signs and banners. This corner here, this used to be AIS, insurance company. A lot of insurance companies are living in California. This was the main entrance here. Commercial space for lease. Office, retail, restaurant. Look at all the planters. Corner too, it's also available for lease. Uh, corner store. This corner used to be a car dealer. Now everything's boarded up, all the windows. Big car dealer. Closed now. <laughs> Top corner there used to be a movie theater. Now says for lease. This here is another space for lease. There's a sign for lease. And this is all boarded up. I'm not sure, but this might have been a hotel. It's all boarded up now. Doors here too, closed. Window, the windows have boards. All the windows have boards. And that used to be an electronics store. Secret City at one point. They painted the doors. This was the electronics store. All of it. Half the block. At least it's not tagged. And right next to the electronics store, this used to be a retail pharmacy, this used to be CVS. Look how big this store was. There's some taggings on the windows by now. Someone sleeping on the sidewalk. This was the main entrance to the CVS store. really run down now this used to be a furniture store and this corner right here this used to be a convenience store tied in that corner that used to be compass it's for lease now it says there for lease, old tag, really run down. This is a Fort Lee sign. This space right here, that's for lease. This used to be the vitamin shop. For lease now. Look, they put boards on the door, on the floor too. Here's another business that's closed. Retail for lease. This used to be a mattress store. And it was up to there. There's that other sign. And this gas station here is what was on the news recently about the uh, hostel architecture on their speakers. Loudspeaker to deter loitering. The problem is, there's an apartment building right next to it. 
and the speaker is facing them. That is the speaker making all the noise. And what's in front of it? The apartment building. The speakers emit a high frequency ultrasound that can pick up to 100 decibels, which is really loud. And it's used in commercial warehouses for pest control. It's also used for uh, pet training. It's very, very effective. Over here we have Audio Symphony Lowe's. They will uh, set up uh, radios for your cars. And next to it we have a Honda dealer. Close to the signs used to be up there. And this was their uh, garage. This is where they had the cars for sale. It was a small car dealer, but it didn't survive. This was the showroom here for the Honda dealer. That's the available for lease sign. Those are all the uh, Honda signs. And right across the street from the uh, closed Honda dealer, we have a closed restaurant on that corner. This used to be Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Upscale restaurant, closed now. There's still a steak on the window. No more steaks in there. <laughs> Let's see if we can see the sign that used to say, oh yeah, here it is. That was the sign. Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Closed now. This was a large restaurant and really upscale. And this corner here, this used to be a staple office supply retail store. That up there is where the uh, staple sign used to be. You know that red sign? Very large store here. This was the main entrance to the Staples store. And next to it, I forgot what that used to be, but they tore it down. There's nothing there now. I'm surprised the Academy of Arts still open with AI taking over, especially on art. It's just a ripoff. Don't get in student debt. You won't be able to repay it with a worthless degree. This was a liquor store, gone now. This here used to be a bakery. Looks like they opened something else now. It says CrossFit Golden Gate. That's where the sign used to be up there. This right here used to be a large restaurant. Now all the windows are boarded up and at least it's not tagged. This was one of the entrances and the main entrance was here in the corner. We'll get to that. Look how high the boards are, large windows. That was the main entrance, that door over there. This right here is another CVS retail pharmacy close to. This pharmacy was hit hard by shoplifting. This was the first one to go. The windows are not boarded up yet. Lights still on. And right next to the closed CVS pharmacy, we have a place for lease. And this right here looks close too. Right here in the corner, another office space for lease. It says right here in the corner, available. Got some boards on those windows there. These ones are still open. Here we have a laundry place that's closed. Next to that we have a place that's open. But this one's closed doesn't have the sign what it used to be. This one says LCD plasma. So I think this was a repair for electronics. And this was a tattoo shop, closed now. This here was a collectors. This was rare coins, precious metals, and foreign exchange by gold and silver. Now we're at Van Ness and Broadway, and on this corner we have another place for lease. Wherever this was, it's all boarded up too. Every window is boarded. Here's the door, sealed shut. 
this must have been the main entrance here. This here used to be a restaurant. I remember this was on the news about construction where they closed the sidewalk and people just couldn't get inside the restaurant. And the order was sued by the landlord because she couldn't afford rent anymore. There's a restaurant for lease. Yeah, sure. Good luck with that. <laughs> It's a medium-sized restaurant. This corner here used to be a hotel. This was the parking garage. It was a small hotel, but it's closed now. This was the uh, hotel entrance. And that's the sign up there. Da Vinci Villa, it was a hotel. Right across the street from the closed hotel, we have this retail for lease right here on this corner. Large space. So it's the next one. Also vacant. Check out this furniture store. All tagged. This place here used to be Ruby Living Design, a furniture space. Closed now. This here was a nail salon. Closed now. Nice for lease. Vaness is a mess. Let me know what you think about these bus lanes closing all these businesses and I'll see you in the next video. Zombieland Tours, checking out the zombies. Don't get off the bus.